To all my Killzone fans out there, welcome back to Killzone 1 Campaign. I am Jay Major. You'll have to climb up this ladder to get the sniper rifle. Well, no shit. We think the sniper is located in a building at the end of the street. The scope on the rifle will allow you to zoom in until he fills the crosshairs. No! Not Johnson! He was only a boy! <laughs> Not Johnson, he's only a boy! Got the oh, I shot him in the nuts on, again. Man, let's fall back to the HQ. Let's go! Let's go! I remember we discussed this earlier. I always shoot them in the groin, huh? It's, I guess it's a habit. Fire in the hole. See? Shot him in the leg. Oh, shot him in the neck right there. Alright, welcome back everybody. It's a Sunday here in Connecticut on the 22nd of June. A lot to talk about and I hope everyone had a great weekend. Just playing some old school kill zone. I haven't played this game for years. So... Slide down this ladder. Move up, come on, get a move on. Stop 52 at hand. I played a really good set last night, everybody, uh, on Killzone 3, two on two, just random players. Um, we kicked their ass 6-1. Uh, okay, and uh, we played on Turbine Concourse. I played as the engineer. And uh, the, the person I was playing with, he was really good. He, um, he uh, was playing as tactician, so he did a great job uh, getting the uh, spawn points. And it was very odd to me that um, our enemy there, we were playing as uh, ISA, and uh, on the opposite side, they, they were playing as tactician the whole game, which is kind of a disadvantage for us because they can tell you, they can find out where you are every second. And uh, they did a horrible job uh, trying to uh, hold down their spawn points and. We just whooped their ass, man. It was uh, it was awesome. I got like uh, I don't know, like 50 kills. So that was fun last night playing some old school kill zone. It, it, it's pretty interesting. Uh, the uh, kill zone three, the war zones are full, so I'm really happy to see that. So I've been back on the war zone kill zone three. Look at that shotgun. <laughs> This is a great weapon. You have the shotgun and you can fire. Cover me. I love the M82 in this game too because it has like a missile launcher. And this gun obviously has a secondary fire with a shotgun round, so. Give some flavor to the to uh, um, the weapon of choices in, in this game here. Kill who? <laughs> so everybody, a quick story. I'm driving up in Canada. No, yeah, Canada, a little bit up in Maine. And uh, there's moose signs everywhere, everybody up there. Like, be warning of moose for miles and miles and miles. And I'll, I'm like on, on the back roads, more like a route instead of the interstate. And um, I'm just chit-chatting on the phone a little bit here. And I'm just like, I'm talking about moose, everybody. And uh, lo and behold, I'm driving 16 miles per hour, which is the speed limit. And I come around this corner, taking a right, going straight, going into the turn, taking a right-hand turn. And all of a sudden, I see the corner of my, uh, my eye on the right side, this gigantic, gigantic moose here. I mean, it was as tall as my truck. It was huge. It was absolutely huge. This fucker runs straight out front of my truck. I started panicking a little bit, everybody. But I, I knew I had to keep my cool, so I swerved a little bit to my left. And I saw the moose running across, and he started looking at me, and he was hauling the ass like a goddamn camel. Like, and he's like looking at me, so he started running a little bit more farther, farther diagonal. So I started turning my truck more to the right, so he, I, could, I could miss him. And if I did hit him, I'd only clip his, his ass. <laughs> I just shot that. That's right. 
I'd have shot you, son. I shot you. <laughs> but back to the story real quick. So I I was got hit by a, a probably like a 400, 500 pound moose. I'm not sure how much they weigh, but dude, it, the thing was so huge. It was unbelievable. You know, if I did shoot him, I had probably have to cut him up and uh, have have moose for dinner. Would have been supplied me like a, a six month supply of uh, food for my family. Moose. Every day would be moose for dinner, moose for lunch, moose for breakfast. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, so I almost, I almost hit a moose. I almost got killed by a moose. What? Enemy spotted. I'm just plugging away right there. I'm like... I get gun crazy a little bit. I want to ask everybody this question. So, when you played Killzone 2 and back in the heyday, Killzone 2, Killzone 3, what was probably your most challenging map? I'm talking about your most challenging map that you have difficulty with. Mine for Killzone 3 would have to be Bill Gars Boulevard. For some weird reason, I had great games on there, but I can I, it's always 50-50 50-50 with me on Bill Gars Boulevard and I'm like Sometimes I just I have a crappy game. It just it is what it is, or I break even, or I'll get like fifty kills and like I don't know, uh, like thirty five, thirty deaths. It just it is what it is. But yeah, what's your most difficult map? You guys think in Killzone Two, Killzone Three? Mine would have to be Pyre's Rise on Killzone Two. Just the map was big, and I know I always had difficulty on that map too. Uh, what game am I playing next, everybody? Here, uh, right? I'm, I'm right now. I am playing um, Bioshock One, the first one, and I'm having a blast, everybody, with, with that game. It's just an amazing game. So much uh, stuff to work with that first-person shooter. Uh, Big Daddy. I learned how to kill Big Daddy a little bit quicker. If anybody has any ideas for me how to kill Big Daddy, too, of way you guys do it, uh, feel please feel free to write that in the comment section. Just in the beginning, I was having a, I was struggling with Big Daddy in the beginning. And, trying to whoop his ass but you know I've been using that missile launcher against him and uh, it's been pretty handy Get ready. ABC approaching. oh everybody I bought I bought a car yesterday um, I bought a 2013 Dodge Charger uh, metallic blue um, the rims are, are insane uh, so I purchased my first Dodge Charger yesterday. I'm I'm very happy. I'm picking it up next weekend. It's being detailed right now in the shop. Uh, it only has uh, 14,000 miles on it, and uh, yeah. So I'm very excited for uh, next Saturday because I'm picking up my uh, I call it my hot rod, my baby. So nothing like driving a hot chick in a nice muscle car, old school muscle. So. Um, yeah, so that was the highlight of my day yesterday. Bought my first car. And uh, today I'm going to purchase my first... Uh, today I'm buying a Sig Sauer. Gun. <laughs> going gun shopping today. It's more just for, for target practice and for safety, but that's about it. Sorry if you're a gun hater, but I love my Second Amendment rights, so... I don't know what to tell you. And especially with the world the way he's going now, going to shit. I don't know what to tell you either, man. Protect yourself. I remember playing this part of the game right here, and uh, I love after you take up the tank, you can go crazy. That's got a trophy right there. The hell gas will make a bum rush right here. I just like teeing off on these bastards. You bloody bastards. That's what I'm saying. See the artificial intelligence taking heavy fire. Man down. This game was really cool to play back then. It still is fun to play right now. I'm going to play the whole through the whole thing. I'm not sure how many uh, videos I'm going to post of this, but I'll probably put up a few, a few more. Later in the game, everybody playing with the M82 is so beast because uh, okay. the more you play, get in, in depth of the game. The hell gas just bum rush you like like locusts. 
and stuff. So it's great to use the, the missile launcher on this puppy. You can take out like eight Helgens at the same time. I wish we were taking out the ISA dogs. I like how you could take out these guys here when they annoy me though. I remember shooting Templar a, a ton of times. Sometimes he just annoys the hell out of me later on in the game. And I would just like pee off on round on that guy. Speaking of Templar, everybody, I, well, I was pissed when he died in uh, Kill Zone 2. I mean, everybody, please tell me that we all didn't agree that we all wished Rico shit to bed instead of Templar. Right? Am I right? Of course I'm right. I'm Jay Major. Kill Zone Shadowfall was a bit depressing to me. It wasn't a bad campaign, but I really wish they brought back Luger. Because Luger was a great game in the first campaign. I really wish they kept uh, Sev in Shadowfall, or bring in Luger, or Haka, you know, uh, please assassinate Rico. I mean, you guys left us hanging. I mean, that's bullshit to me. All right, everybody, that's about it for me. I hope everyone's doing well. And once again, I am Jay Major. Damn ass hit efficiency. That's bullshit. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'll see you soon in the war zone. I'll be playing Kill Zone 3 uh, this week. And uh, that's about it. See you guys later.